Hello there, boys and girls. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Mend in Munich. And as you can see on screen, we've got Monaco today as well as Dusseldorf away. Since we last met against Leverkusen, a good 2 0 win there. We've gone on a little bit of a run. We beat Werder Bremen 3 1 away from home. They scored in the 91st minute as a consolation. But Rios, Diacabe, and Carlos Antonio with his first goal for the club, scoring the goals to get us the three points away at Werder. We then followed up with a massive 6-2 win away at Stuttgart. Uh, the first kind of 20, 25 minutes was absolutely mental. We went 4-2 uh, up in the first, 3-2 uh, up in the first 20 minutes. Abraham on 6 minutes, Foden on 7 minutes, Edimario on 11 minutes, and Hartman and Afalobai with the two goals for them. And then hudson Adoy just took the game by the scruff of the neck and scored a hat-trick in um, the 33rd, the 50th, and the 91st minute to make it 6 Two. So, fantastic win for us there. First game of the Champions League was a pretty straightforward one. A highly rotated side going over to Copenhagen and winning the game 3-1. DeMarco with a penalty, Carl Jenkinson with an own goal, and Sergio Rios with the winning goal there. And uh, Daniel Vincente with an own goal for Copenhagen. Not the best starts to his Munich career. And then the last three games have been really, really tight. A 1-0 win at home to Bayern. Tammy Abraham on the 18th minute. He did also miss a penalty in that one. But we scraped over the line with a win. A one all draw against Leipzig. We were leading with 10 minutes to go. But Huang He Chan scored the goal for Leipzig to uh, share the points between the two sides. And then, uh, and then Heidenheim came to Munich and a 1-0 win. Fourier scored his first goal for the club on the 35th minute and again another good set of three points this is how the league looks we are one point ahead of Köln, two three points ahead of leipzig four points ahead of schalke and then a massive six points ahead of muncher gladbach leverkusen bayern and wolfsburg so and then wow and then seven points ahead of dortmund so we really are well and truly ahead of the some of the big boys in this league oliver in the top rating, 7.67 for his couple of matches since he's come back into the squad. And Raddy in the top three for clean sheets, which is good to see. This is how the Champions League group sits. We are joint top with Monaco, who we play today, and Copenhagen and Porto on zero points. So the season at the minute is going really, really well. We've got two really tough games coming up for you today. And actually, oh, wow, Cole. Uh, coming up over the horizon as well. We might bring you that tomorrow. First versus second, uh, plus the away game at Porto. But this is going to be the team that faces Monaco in this game in the Champions League. We've got Raddy in goal, Hoover, Clayton, Diacabe, and Martinez at the back line. McKenny comes in as that ball winning midfielder, and Eddie Mario as the deep line playmaker. Oliver on that right hand side, Hudson Adore on the left, and Foden in behind. Tammy Abraham on the bench, Strangle, Vincente. Quintana, Rios, Cordier, Tahavi, and Carlos Antonio. Let's get into it. Let's go and get three more points in the Champions League. Eriksen on the edge, going for a free kick, and he shoots just over Christian Eriksen. What a player he is. They've got Sterling, Eriksen, Ronnie Lopez, Mbolo, Andre Gomez. They've got a fantastic squad. Militao at the back. Lengley at left back as well. So they've got a really, really talented squad here at Monaco. And down the line to Lengley, uh, he's got to cross in, but Diacabe gets that ball clear into Ericsson. And Ericsson, far too much time and space on the edge of the box, puts Monaco 1-0 up after 11 minutes. And just looking at their squad, I think they are going to be the front runners in this group. Lengley down that left-hand side. He whips the ball in. Good header away from Diacabe, but falls kindly to Christian Ericsson. And he puts it past Raddy. 1-0 Monaco. Hoover throws the ball into Foden, but gets it his way as far as Edimario. He's in on goal and he shoots, he scores. Edimario's third goal of the season brings us back level within a minute. And uh, it was a it was a really, really poor clearance from Lengley, I think, getting above Foden to get that ball clear. Edimario picking up that ball, run out of the 20-yard mark and just driving into the penalty box. Left-footed shot past the keeper. What a piece. Ericsson, lovely ball over the top to Raheem. He's in on goal. Raheem finds Mbolo in the box. And that's a great save by Raddy to keep it one apiece. Ericsson with a free kick. He really is making things work for Monaco. He's pulling the strings. He's on an 8.1 already with 10 minutes to go in this first half. First half injury time and it's uh, another highlight. Martinez brings that down and finds McKenney in the middle. Out to Hudson-Odoi. Drives inside 
from that left wing into Foden. He's going on that left-hand side himself. Finds Martinez. Can he get a ball in the can? Tammy um, is in front of the defenders and he scores his fourth goal of the season. Puts us 2-1 up against Monaco. And lovely movement from Tammy. He just ran across the uh, two defenders. We'll see it in the 3D, uh, 3D highlight. Martinez, lovely whipped cross in. And yeah, he just gets ahead of uh, Mere, I think it is, and the number 15. And it is 2-1. What a response. And Militao and Mere, two really good defenders, but Tammy Abraham outfoxing them both. Puts in the lead at half time. Hoover into Oliver, and he looks like he's been shoved, and they're going to go to VAR. Was it in the box or just outside? They've ended up here, but I think it was started in the box. The referee's just going to check VAR. No, it is a free kick, and uh, it's literally just outside the box. Foden with the cross. Can he find a blue shirt? He can. Hudson Odoi gets the shot blocked and Monaco get that ball clear. Hudson Odoi with a whip effort in on goal. And that's a great save by Segovia. And Abraham can't get a turn in. Hudson Odoi in again, trying to find Diakabi. Ed Eddie Mario out to Clayton on that right hand side. Can he get a ball in? Foden's there, and it's another block by a uh, by a Monaco defender piling on the pressure here at home. Couple of changes made, 25 minutes to go. Rios and Carlos Antonio on for McKenny and Foden. Foden not having the best of game, 6.5 up against a really strong midfield. And 15 minutes to go now. And Martinez heads that ball into Edimario, back to Diacarbe. And at this time, Edimario running things in the middle of midfield. Changed him up to a deep line playmaker. Edimario back to Diacarbe. Martinez coming inside, finds Carlos Antonio. And uh, they're pressing really well here, but. We're keeping hold of the ball. Martinez again, back to Diacarbe. And he can go across here, but he's going to bring the ball out himself and find Hudson Adoy down this left hand side. He's just charging down that wing into Tammy Abraham. Oh, what an opportunity. What an opportunity to put this game to bed. There we go. Full time missile goes. Tammy Abraham's injury time uh, winner in the first half puts us over the line and gives us three more points in the Champions League against a very, very good Monaco side. Let's see how Porto got on against Copenhagen and where that sits us in our group. Porto beat Copenhagen, which you probably would um, you kind of expect, really, to be fair. So they beat them 3-1. So it's us on six points, Monaco and Porto on three points, and then Copenhagen on zero. So, yeah, we play, uh, we play Porto next away from home, so we go to Portugal for that one. But next up in the league, we play Dusseldorf, who find themselves in 13th. And let's see how we get on away from home. Here we go then against Dusseldorf. One change to the starting lineup. To Harvey comes in for Phil Foden. Foden not really hit the ground running in uh, in the side just yet. 6.9 in the Bundesliga and a 6.82 overall. So Harvey's going to come in. He's on currently a 7.22 average rating. So uh, hopefully he can come in and keep that magic going. 7.1 in the Bundesliga. So hopefully yeah he can be the bit. He can be the boy to. Uh, Unlock the doors. The rest of the team, it stays exactly the same. Let's submit that team and go to Dusseldorf. Hudson Adoy with a free kick. Ten minutes to go in the first half. Dear Carby gets onto it, but not to be. Very cagey affair, this one. Actually, a pretty poor affair. First highlight was that one. Still nil-nil. Injury time of the first half again. Eddie Mario finding to Harvey. To Harvey comes inside, tries to find that reverse pass to Tammy Abraham. And now Dear Carby knocks that down to Weston McKenney. Into Eddie Mario again. Can he get the ball forward? to uh, Abraham though trying to find Oliver on that overlap we get the ball back out to Martinez who goes back inside to Diacarbe we recycle again a few seconds left of this first half are we going to make the breakthrough Edimario this time into Tammy Abraham holds the ball up into to Harvey into Hudson Adoy goes for a daisy cutter but it's off target and that's going to see us through to half time Hudson Adoy going to get that ball into the back post to Harvey's there he's been brought down and I think it's going to be a penalty. They are going to check VAR, and it is. It's going to be Tammy Abraham. Missed his last one a few weeks ago in game. Can he score this one to put us 1-0 up? Yes, he can. Tammy Abraham scores his fifth goal of the season, and he breaks the deadlock here five minutes into the second half. And Mario picking the ball up with 25 minutes to go in the middle of the park. And lovely little 1-2. Finds Hudson Adoy driving inside. Can he go for goal? He can. It's just wide of that post. Not being as clinical today as we should have been. Edimario out to Hoover and he comes inside, finds Edimario again, finds Tammy to Harvey. Now pushed over to that left hand side, trying to find a ball into the middle but can't find him. Marquez now, one on one with Diacabe. He finds his strike partner over the top, goes for goal and 
Philip Amensdorfer puts it to one apiece and uh, against the runner play, as you can see from the stats, uh, but we haven't put this team away. Had loads of chances to do so, but they hit us on the break. Marquez over the top to Amsdorfer and he just runs away from Clayton and puts it past Raddy. One apiece. Five minutes left of the game. Clayton back to Raddy and we switch the play over to the left-hand side into Quintana, into Foden. Back to Quintana, over the top to Tammy Abraham. He's in on goal. Can he score a second? Yes, he can. Tammy Abraham to the rescue. His second of the game. Sixth goal of the season. And hopefully three points for Munich. Lovely play from Quintana and Foden in the middle of the park. He goes back to Quintana. Lovely ball over the top to Abraham. Centre back was a bit static there. And he just passes it into the back of the net. 2-1 Munich. Here Carby picking up that loose ball. Finds Eddie Mario in the middle, being pressed. But finds a lovely ball through to Foden. Hoover on the right-hand side. Lovely through ball to Tammy Abraham. But it's going to be called off for offside. And it's not going to count, I don't think. No, it's not. 2-1 to Munich still. Here's the highlight. Ball over to Hoover. Lovely cross. And yeah, he is just offside. 2-1 into injury time now in this game. And there we have it. Full-time whistle goes. Another dominant display from this Munich side. Tammy Abraham with a brace. And uh, two 2-1 two wins in today's episode. The match day seven has finished in the Bundesliga and it sees us four points clear of FC Köln, five points clear of Rebel Leipzig and a further seven points clear of Mönchengladbach, Bayern, Bayer Leverkusen and Wolfsburg. So good start to the season. Only team unbeaten this season so far. We will be back straight after. No missing any other games here. Colne and Porto are going to be the next two games for you tomorrow. Half past five, as always. And that is it for today's episode. If you have enjoyed it, please do drop it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and you don't want to miss any more content. Remember, tick the little bell icon so you're notified every time a video goes live. And until next time, when we bring you first versus second in the Bundesliga and we go away to Portugal to face Porto in the Champions League. I'll see you soon.